One of my favorite ways to make easy, gorgeous cards is to add foil. And I am in love with these new silver, green, and purple sketch foils from Brutus Monroe and Decofoil. Just look at these beautiful sketch colors, the silver, green, and purple. Hello, and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and I love to make foiled cards, especially when the foils are as pretty as these. My favorite easy way to add the Beauty of Foil to my cards is to first apply Deco Foil Transfer Gel through a stencil. For these first couple cards, I'm using a new stencil from Gina K and Thermoweb um, called Crazy Daisy, and it's my new favorite. Um, all I did was apply the Deco Foil Transfer Gel through that stencil, and after it was dried clear and not tacky, tacky, I simply put a piece of the silver foil on top of it and ran it through a laminator or a mink machine. Now I'm going to show you that, but first I'm going to share some of the cards I made with the Brutus Monroe sketch foils and the Deco Foil Transfer Gel. And all of the details of each of these cards will be on my blog and I have links in the description box below. Here is another card that I use that same stencil, and in this case I use the purple sketch foil and um, a couple stamps from a new Gina K Thermoweb set. Um, I'm hoping you can see in the camera how they move those lines that are in the foil moves just beautifully. Um, another favorite thing that I like to do is to um, use the negative um, after you've run it through, then the foil goes where the stencil isn't. So I'm going to show that in my um, demonstration as well. And this is one of the favorite cards that I recently made. Um, here's another favorite. I put the uh, transfer gel through a Tonic Studios um, stencil and then I you put the silver on and then I added some really pretty um, die cuts for um, a wedding card um, and this one I did both the green and the purple so I used um, after it was the the uh, transfer gel was through the stencil then I put a strip of green purple and green on this one and um, put it through my mink and that was the results um, this is a favorite technique I've been like doing recently where I have applied ink through a stencil, moved it over a little bit, and then I added um, the deco foil um, transfer gel and then the green sketch um, foil for a really pretty sympathy card. Um, another favorite way that I Oh, first I was going to demonstrate this one. Okay, so um, as I said, it's very, very simple to do that, what I just showed with the... the um, so what I did was I applied the transfer gel through that stencil onto a piece of black cardstock, and I let it dry completely. And then you simply put it face up, and you put your foil down on top and you put it through your mink or your laminator and the result is going to be um, a look like this which I think is my favorite um, all you really need to do is add some words perhaps with dyes maybe a butterfly and you have a simple gorgeous sympathy card which um, lately I've been needing many of unfortunately takes a little while to go through the make machine so once you've done that you simply remove foil <laughs> And you have a simply gorgeous focal point for a card. Um, the next, I never throw these pieces away. Um, I, I just love the look 
and you don't waste any of the foil if you put it back through your laminator or your mink with a toner sheet which is also from DecoFoil and Thermoweb. And this time the foil, looking for my sample here, the foil is going to be on the other parts of it. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could put it through again because this is still toner and that would pick up another color if you wish. But I really am liking the look of the black with the green and I think I will also like the look of the black with the silver. So you remove that and you can see you have no waste of that gorgeous foil and now I'm sure this is reflecting. But isn't that beautiful? This time the, fl the flower is the black and the background is all that beautiful sketched foil. I'm really liking that look and I'm sure I'll make some beautiful cards with those two pieces. Another favorite way to use these new sketch foils from Brutus Monroe is to combine them with the new Brutus Monroe DecoFoil Designer Toner Sheets. In each pack you get two clear sheets and two white sheets with funky foilable designs. Um, here's the ones I have so far. I think my favorite is the crosshatch and I'm going to show that in the cards that I, I show you. Um, I also have what's, what's called static and that's very cool and the paint brushed. So in each one you get two clear and two white and I'll show you samples with both of those. Um, here's a card that I made with the purple sketch uh, transfer sheets and that um, designer toner sheets that I was showing you. So um, this is what it looks like um, when it first comes out of the package when it is the clear one. So you can see it's on acetate. And then when you put foil on it and run it through. This is the look that you get. And I really like using like a, a, you can see that this has some sparkle to it. So when you put it over that, underneath the white is moves as well. So that's what I've done in this card. And um, I really like how that turned out. And um, another thing that you can do is take the um, white sheets with the black toner and run that through with the, um, in this case I did the green, um, and I'm going to show you how I made this card. Um, and we're going to make that together. Um, I did use Sending Hugs, which is a new die from Creative Expressions by Sue Wilson. And um, this triangular die um, from Reverse Confetti. Now, I admit I loved a card I saw on Facebook and Instagram. And I had to go buy these triangle dies from v Reverse Confetti because of that card. I have linked to Adam's card in the description box. Um, I cased his sketch too, but I did change the rest up. So um, after I ran this piece through um, with the green sketch um, foil on top, um, this is what it looked like. And I decided to um, sponge color on um, and then um, do some punching and die cutting. So my favorite new uh, bright yellow ink is Versifying Claire Cheerful. And my favorite way to put any color on nowadays is to use these makeup brushes from Amazon. And I have a link um, in the description box. So I'm just going to pick up some ink with the, with the makeup brush and sponge it on. 
and while I like the green and the white, I decided in this case to uh, make the white areas um, colorful with the different inks. Um, I'm going to take a punch. Um, this is an EK Success punch. Um, I um, actually wore out a butterfly punch because I add butterflies to so many cards. And I'm going to punch a few butterflies. And they go flying. Come on. And maybe one more. So I have die cut the um, pe other pieces that I need and um, I am going to create um, that triangular look that I really liked from Adam's card but in um, pretty colors. I've got to move that over. Start with the bottom one because that's the largest. simply using my favorite dots adhesive to attach these. You can see that pretty sketched green foil is very shiny in there. And then I'm going to trim those off. The uh, sending hugs, I showed you that die, and what I did was cut the shadow out of the yellow and green. And then Butterflies on almost every card are a great addition. I think maybe I'll just put two on this card. A little bit less room.
And then I have the other, the card base prepared. It's just a green A2 card. Um, if there's any extra pieces of any of the foil, um, I always add it to the inside. It's a shame. In fact, maybe we should add that butterfly to the inside. We don't want to waste any of that beauty. Maybe down here. Huh? I love how all these fantastic and easy foiled cards I made with the new Brutus Monroe deco foils and designer toner sheets turned out. And I hope I've inspired you to give them a try. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. And thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.